Hello friends, in this video I shall be taking the complex numbers triangular inequality. Okay, so first of all I would like to begin with how to remember the inequalities. So let's begin. So right here Z1 mod of Z1 plus mod of Z2. In the second part also write this mod of Z1 plus mod of Z2. Now in this third and the fourth part we have to take the negative signs. So mod of Z1 minus mod of Z2. Now I am taking the whole mod here. I will tell you the reason later on. But first of all you must remember I am taking the positive sign in the first two cases and the negative sign in the next two cases. So mod one, mod Z1 minus mod Z2 whole mod. Okay so whenever I am having the uh, plus sign in middle I have to take the greater than equal to sign. So greater than equal to greater than equal to and here whenever I am having the negative sign less than equal to less than equal to the signs I am taking with respect to this side okay so the positive sign positive sign negative sign negative sign so I have only two cases to decide that is z1 plus z2 whole mod and mod of z1 minus z2 okay so we have to just fit these cases alternately in these cases in the four cases so it will be mod of z1 plus z2 then in the next case mod of z1 minus z2 in the next case mod of z1 plus z2 and then z1 minus z2 these inequalities are derived from a triangle so these are known as the triangular inequalities i will just prove one inequality for the sake of completion the rest you must have studied so like i have a triangle Okay, the vectors actually behave, sorry, the complex numbers actually behave as vectors. You would come to know. If I, if I take this as a, b as a vector and b vector, then what will be the resultant? I think you must have studied uh, vectors. So the resultant will be this side. Okay. So basically what I am writing that a bar plus b bar is equal to c bar in, in the vector form. Okay, so you, mu you must be knowing that the sum of two sides must be greater than or equal to the third side. So the sum of two sides will be must be greater than or equal to the third side. So what, what is basically c? c is equal to a bar plus b bar. You must have studied in the vectors. So mod of A plus mod of B must be greater than or equal to this thing. Okay, so here is one proof for what we can write in the triangular inequality. You can just replace this by Z1 and Z2 and so on. So this is the basic, the basic proof for the complex number triangular inequality. Okay, so now I want to tell you that how to decide whether three complex numbers are collinear or not. Two complex numbers will always be collinear as you studied in the straight lines also. So let me take a complex number Z3 that divides Z1 and Z2 in the ratio m is to n. So now apply the section formula. So Z3 will be equal to m into Z2 plus n into Z1 by m plus n. So take this here on uh, further calculation we will get m Z2 plus n Z1 minus m plus n z3 is equal to 0 <clears throat> you already know that these three are collinear so whenever three complex numbers will be collinear then the sum of the first two must equal to the third one like 6z2 plus z1 minus 7z3 is equal to 0 this question was asked in 2015 bits actually in the paper if it is directly asked then it does not strike so that's why I want to make you clear here by using the section formula that's that these two vectors will be collinear. Okay. Basically I am saying vectors because vectors and complex numbers are almost identical. Okay. So now I am going to teach you a couple of questions that how to use the triangle in inequality. So the first question is find the minimum of mod of z minus 1 if the condition given is mod of z minus 3 minus mod of z plus 1 is equal to 
2 okay so we have to not fear on seeing the question so first of all assume this thing as z1 and this thing as z2 so basically what i am given mod of z1 minus mod of z2 is equal to 2 so these are the four inequalities okay now decide which one we have to use we have actually two options here this is mod of z1 minus mod of z2 so i am having the third option i am having the fourth option so basically i have to see the lhs according to which i'll decide so now first of all try to get mod of z1 so i want to get mod of z1 just let me write z1 plus z2 whole mod let me try this one see i have two options so i'm trying the third option first so it will be mod of z minus 3 plus z plus 1 whole mod okay so that will basically turn out to be 2 into mod of z minus 1 a simple calculation so you can now you know now that we have to use the third inequality so now let's use it the third inequality says mod of z1 plus z2 must be greater than or equal to mod of z1 minus mod of z2 okay now let me tell you why putting the mod outside also because if i get an equality sign in between this thing will be positive so this thing must also be positive so i am using the modulus outside also okay so mod of z1 plus z2 is basically 2 into mod of z minus 1 must be greater than or equal to now what is this thing this thing is 2 must be greater than mod 2 so that is 2 so mod of z minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 1 so what is the minimum value that is 1 so okay this was a simple question simple actually this type of simple uh, question seems simple but the concept is very hard to understand so now the second question if mod of z plus 4 is less than or equal to 3 then i have been asked the maximum value of z plus 1 okay so these are the four triangular inequalities that i have so now let me solve it i have been asked the maximum value of mod of z plus 1 so first of all i have to derive mod of z plus 1 from somewhere so mod of z plus 1 can be written as this thing minus 3 okay i can write this as this so let me take this as z1 and this as z2 the real numbers are also complex numbers with the imaginary part as 0 so 3 is also actually a complex number okay so i i got mod of z1 minus z2 so which two cases i am getting case number 2 and case number 4 so i, to ne I need to decide further i have been asked the maximum value Okay, now you can tell me that here I have this sign, here I have this sign. So in this I'll get a maximum value, see less than equal to, in this I'll get a minimum value. For example, it comes greater than equal to 1. So the range will be 1 to infinity. So the maximum value will ten, 10 to infinity. So that is of no use here. So we have to use the second equation here. So I can write mod of z1 minus z2 must be less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 what is mod of z1 minus z2 that is this so it will be z plus 1 must be less than equal to mod of z1 that is mod of z plus 4 plus 3 mod of 3 so mod z plus 1 must be less than equal to see i want to get the maximum value so this thing must also be maximum so what is the maximum value of z plus 4 that is 3 so write 3 here so 3 plus 3 so the maximum will be equal to 6 so the maximum value for the given question will be 6 i hope this video helps and thank you for your support and best of luck